Good morning, everybody. How we doing? Honey, how are you today? Good, we're reminiscing this morning. Reminiscing about uh, some old songs that we like. Anyway, uh, Miss Sarah switched to decaf. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And um, how you feeling? Uh, I switched to decaf Saturday. It's Thursday, so my headache's about a one. Yeah, she's had a little bit. She had a really bad headache the first two days, man. Caffeine, not good for you guys. But uh, what is it, honey? Not a not about. No, no, not three, four cups a day. It wasn't three, four cups. How though. many was it? It was two large cups. Two large cups, like Big Mo cups. Yeah, right. No. Uh, don't listen. She's fibbing to you. Anyway, we're going to get... <laughs> I'm fibbing, okay? I don't want you to think she's drinking like eight gallons of coffee a day. But anyway, it's time to get back at it, guys. Uh, it's almost 10 o'clock. Or it probably is 10 by now. We had a lot of rain last night. So I uh, wanted it to dry up a little bit out here. So we're going to get some edging footage for you. And we'll talk a little bit... Of today about what the plans are coming up soon i know we're going to be mulching monday tuesday and wednesday and since i'm using a new mulch company which i think is great they are super super people and their pricing is not that bad so um of course everything has gone up so you deal with it but uh let's get to work man all right guys we're gonna get this thing edged it's only a hundred 55 feet here today so it shouldn't take me much more than an hour get it knocked out and I'll show you as much as I can probably just the front because there's not much in the back We're going to mulch this one and the one here on Monday. Two of them together. It's not worth coming out an extra day. When they're back to back. So might as well get them both done. Shouldn't take me more than five hours by myself. Or if Tim's with me. It'll probably take us about three and a half, four hours tops. speed it up. And just like that that bed is finished and we are moving on to the front doesn't take long guys doesn't take long just a little bit of muscle a little bit of uh putting your nose to the grindstone so let me set you up here and we'll get this front one knocked out
Okay guys, I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll show you the whole job when we're done. We'll chit chat. Call it a day. Okay guys, all done. Yeah, I'm sweating. I want to show you the edging and we're going to talk a little bit about how you got to be careful when you're out here doing this because there are some dangers to edging and I'm going to show you what I mean but uh, let's look at the edging and when we get there I'll explain it to you okay so there's the back corner what I did is I just picked up where I left off yesterday let's walk through here this was really tough because it's a lot of tree roots off these arborvitaes and I will show you one of the dangers and you got to be looking out for this when you guys are around an electric box look what's right here power wire one thing you don't want to do is cut into that and get yourself electrocuted or knock somebody's power out the next thing so we're going along here edging's looking good looking good whoa there's a wire look at that so you got to find out where the wire goes into the yard at you don't want to cut that you do not want to cut those and you can see the wire is sticking up through here another one right here guys what do we got sprinkler head you got to be careful for those. There are some things out here. You can knock somebody's cable out, their internet out. And the yellow wire usually means internet here. I don't know where you're at, wherever you guys are watching from. But I'm telling you, it can be dangerous. I've, I've heard of people hitting power lines, getting electrocuted. you got to know these properties. And another thing... You'll notice, you see these little stones. About every so often there's a stone. Well, that marks the property line. So you don't want to be edging somebody else's beds. Okay, focus, you stupid thing. You don't want to be edging somebody else's property and then have a customer or a customer's neighbor come out and yell at you, ask you what you're doing. Or you go into their yard and you cut a line. You're responsible. You're responsible for what goes on in your job sites. I can tell you I've cut many a cable. And I did it using machines. I've never cut a cable with a hand shovel. It's always been using machines. It's one of the reasons why I said yesterday I'm not using a machine. I'll hand edge it. This property... 154 feet took me one hour and all I got to do is drive by the dump and dump off that yesterday that whole load if you guys watch the video till the end that whole load took me 15 minutes great exercise good for your heart man to get moving and uh just be careful when you're out edging. You can run into some stuff and get yourself in trouble. What do you think, honey? We did it. Yay. Look at you. You did it. Yeah, Big H. Look at us. We did it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Remember your property lines. Watch out for cables. Watch out for sprinkler heads. You can bust one of those off. And if you don't know how to repair it, like I don't, and I don't have the stuff to repair them, so I am very careful. But that's a good thing about a lot of people are always, man, I need more properties. I need more properties. If you edge, mulch, hedge trim, mow, plant at the properties you have, guys, you should be able to make a good living with 35 properties, 30 properties. I'm telling you, there's no need for having 100 properties as a solo guy or a guy with one helper if all you're doing is just mowing i get it you need the money but edging and mulching pays so well and hedge trimming pays well because i will be back <clears throat> later this season to trim all these up so 
it's always a source of income man if you want to work so hope you guys enjoyed it hit the subscribe hit the super thanks throw doc a few bucks and say hey man thanks for uh doing what you do hey it helps man i'm not gonna be shy about it i mean we don't make a lot of money on these videos four to five bucks is about it so anything you guys do i want to you shout out to Will's Property Maintenance. He threw me two bucks the other day. Will, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. And uh, guys, as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real, and I'll see you guys. This one may be a premiere tonight. We'll see. See you tomorrow. Peace.